Hi, I'm Neil Granville, Director of Golf at Leaderboard Stamford Springs Golf Club in Hampshire. When you're starting to play golf, hitting the golf ball consistently can be a bit of an issue. Sometimes you'll hit the top of the ball, sometimes you'll hit the ground first, and there will be some shots as well where you hit the ball really sweetly from the middle of the golf club and it flies towards your target. Those are the ones that we all want to hit more often, but sadly we get some of the other ones that crop up as well. When that does happen, if you hit the top of the ball or you hit the ground first, you'll probably come up with a list of things as to why that's happened. Maybe you've lifted your head, maybe you swang the club too quickly, a whole host of things that will be going through your mind. So imagine you're now at the driving range and you're here with your club, you're hitting golf balls. You're going to get some shots that will hit the ground too much and you're going to get other shots that will come along and hit the top of the golf ball. All we're going to do is we're going to set up a simple scale for those two things. If you hit higher up towards the top of the golf ball, obviously the ball then is going to run along the ground. It's not going to go in the air at all. That's going to be a plus. If your club comes down and hits into the ground first, then that's going to be a minus. And the one that we want is when we get the club coming into the back of the golf ball, brushing through the ground, taking the golf ball away nicely, that's going to be a zero. Okay, hit some golf balls when you next go to the range and all you need to do is give yourself good feedback, that was a plus, that was a minus, that was a zero. Keep going through it and most importantly, don't try to change it. Your subconscious mind will start picking out what's actually happening, what's creating the plus, what's creating the minus. Over a short period of time, you'll find that the amount that you miss the golf ball by will get narrower. The more you keep doing this, the better. And what you might even want to do is give it some numbers. So the top of the golf ball could become plus five and really hammering down into the mat could be minus five. And then you're going to find the bits in between and fill in the blanks. So you're going to calibrate that until you start probably to find out that plus one, zero, minus one is still going to be a reasonable golf shot. Your subconscious brain will really like it because you're giving it good factual feedback rather than I lifted my head my left arm wasn't straight, all those sorts of things. So, just to recap, use that plus, minus and zero when you're hitting the golf ball. Try this at the range, keep doing it, and you'll find that your consistency in hitting the golf ball improves really quickly. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope it helps you to play better golf. If you've got any questions or comments, then you can either follow me on Twitter, at Neil Granville, or you could leave us a comment on our YouTube channel, Leaderboard TV. Thanks very much.